let's talk about running through the payroll process. Before you begin an attempt to run payroll, make sure you set up all your pay dates. Pay dates can be set up in the setup menu by selecting the pay dates function. If you do not know how to set up your pay dates, please refer to the training video for pay dates and that will guide you through that process. Once you have your pay date set up, what you'll want to do is click on payables and then select pay resources. By default, there's no pay date selected because we want you to select the actual pay date you're running payroll for. So click the look up pay date button and a list of all of your available pay dates will appear that have not yet been closed with the one closest to the date at the very top. So we'll click on this one. And notice it'll bring in your pay group and your cutoff date just so you're sure. And once you are ready to run the payroll, go ahead and click search. RB will ask you this question. There is no payroll for the selected pay date. Do you want to calculate payroll? Click yes. And now the system will show you every resource for the selected pay date that is going to be earning money. So basically RB looked at the payroll date, looks at the cutoff date, goes through all the terms for the resources, and these are the resources that have invoices that are ready to pay. So if we actually click on one of the resource names, you'll see the actual history. Now some of them will be check pay, some of them will not be check pay, so you can actually see what is adding up to the amount column right here. If you want to take a look at your payroll report while running it, instead of looking at it just on the screen, you can proceed to draft the actual office resource copy in summary mode, the office copy with detail, or the resource copy with detail. So all of those will have the word draft on them since you are still running the payroll and have not yet closed the payroll. Now, if for whatever reason you are running this payroll and you do realize that you made a mistake maybe with a cutoff date or even maybe the pay group or the payroll date, but you need to basically start over with this payroll, one thing you will not be able to do at this point is go back to the pay dates function and delete this pay date. And that's because you have already clicked search and selected all of these invoices for this particular payroll. If you would happen to have the need to start over and delete the pay date and then recreate a new one, then what you'll want to do is click reset payroll. And then you can go to the pay dates function and delete the pay date and then set it up and start all over. Now, after you verify the payroll, maybe by looking at the draft of the pay statements report, what you can do in your final process is click close payroll. And what that will do is that will finalize the payroll and make it so that all of the invoices that are checked to pay on this particular pay date will never again show up as an outstanding payable. So let's go ahead and click close payroll. The system will ask you, are you sure you want to close? Click yes. And there you go. It automatically disappears and you're good to go.